מה יקרה לי? They're gonna throw me from my house. מה יקרה לי? I slept for three months with all of my family in the house of my mother. I was spending three months of my life in hotel, Malon Lev Yerushalayim, in Rehov King George, in Rehov King George, Merkaz Ha'ir. We were paying 4,000 shekels, or 6,000 shekels every month. לא היה לנו בית. They kicked us out here from Eretz Chafetz. לא היה לנו בית. So what can you do? אז מה? So what? I have a friend from the yeshiva. He was sleeping with three children and his wife in, his, in their car. For, for a few days. מה לעשות? He put all of the, the stuff from his house במחסן and he didn't have a place to stay. In his parents he didn't want to stay. In his, his wife's parents he didn't want, they didn't want it. לא מוכנים, לא רוצים. You're bringing me to talk on things that are very painful. I don't want to... to you, you, אין שום הבדל, הכל הבדל במוח. I know a tzaddik, that tzaddik, people came to him, told him, we want to buy you a yeshiva. חסיד גור came to him with כסף, told him, קח, I want to buy you a yeshiva. He said, until השם יתברך, we're not gonna have a house, I'm not buying a house. רב ציון ברכה. You can say, no, it's different, it's everyone, not I, you grew up in a certain way, he grew up in a different way, everyone with the imaginations of him, his parents, and his fears that he purchased during his life, and now he's uh, giving explanations why his way is the real way. The truth is that you're a liar, and you're afraid, and you don't know what to do with your life, and you don't want to be kicked out from the house, and you want to be married because you need love, and because you... Not really, you don't really love your wife. You don't even know your wife. You're sure that you know your wife? You're sure that you know your wife? I tell you, forget it. You don't know nothing about you. You don't know. She can fake everything and you will never gonna tell everything, everything, her, her favorite color she can fake. You will never gonna know. She's dressing up only for you that, because she needs quiet and she knows that this is how you want her to dress and she's doing, she hates it. You don't know. You can never tell until you're gonna have a heart and you're gonna say, hey, something is wrong here. When you still have ta'avot, you still want things in your life for yourself or because you're afraid even. You don't need to be such a bal tava. You're just afraid. Okay, let's say you're afraid. You're afraid. It's not your fault. You're afraid. But that fear makes you vicious. Makes you violent. Makes you angry. So people are afraid of you now. And you're just afraid. Why are you aggressive? Because you're afraid. And now people are afraid of you. Now for them, you're the enemy. It can be your wife. It can be your children. They're afraid of you. They respect you, they're going to show you a lot of love. Inside they're afraid of you. And the fear that they're afraid from you is the fear that they're afraid from their father, from, that she's afraid from her father, from her childhood. No one to blame. Reality, if you're not doing tshuva and fighting with yourself and to find out who I am, you're going to live all of your life in a lie. No, we need to buy a house. Why you need to buy a house? No, I need to get married. Why you need to get married? The mitzvah, purvu, miloi ta'aretz, that's the reason? You're afraid to get old alone. You have to talk to someone. You, you have ta'avot. You have a lot of, of, of nonsense, imaginations that you need to, to make up for uh, your childhood that you haven't done enough. And, 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 and a lot of other reasons. You know what it means, lehov, to love? You can feel? You know what it means, lehov? Do you think that you know what it means love? Ahava? Ahava it's the name of Hashem. Ahava is Hashem Hashem. Ahava it's one of the names of Hashem. Ahava it's the name of Hashem Hashem it's Ahava. Hashem he is Ahava. You know what it means Ahava? You're not allowed to be there when there is Ahava. Kol Ahava tluya bedavar Every love that depends in something Something Batel davar That thing cancel Batel Ahava Cancel the love one thing it's not love anymore one thing one thing you enjoy the meals this is it it's nice for it's comfortable for you it gives you quiet it's so thin it's so nice it's so quiet it's so gentle you can be so righteous with it you cannot love there is no over there because but tell davar because if they're gonna take it she didn't make lunch the house is not clean my clothes are not Iron, Miguatsim, something is wrong, there is not enough money. 
Why she's wasting her time? She's not praying. She's not saying her Tehillim. The children are not saying Birkat Amazon. Oh, you lost your mind. When you lost your mind, it means that your mind never been there. It means that Ahava never was there. Because it's Ahava Tluya Bedavar. And when they're going to take it, so then, a Sin'ah is greater than the love that was before. The hatred, the Sin'ah. He hates his wife. He wants to kill his children. There was never love over there. He's angry. He's for Mama, she wants to break the house. What? Who are you? Are you that righteous man of two hours ago? Where is that standard that you were shaking in the yeshiva? <laughs> What's happened to all of your adinut? You're so gentle and nice and talking such words of talk. There was no love over there. You're afraid to be alone. You're afraid not to have money. You're afraid and afraid and afraid. And you're angry and you... Okay. The truth is, go search. Who am I? And then you're going to realize that you are a righteous man that is afraid. Like an animal that hides in, in her, her cave. Afraid. We're in trauma. Am Yisrael are in trauma. Horrible trauma. Horrible trauma. We cannot understand how the exile happened to us. How Hashem left His house. How Hashem went and hides His face. How it happened to us. All of the executions in, in the, in the, in, under the, 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 the control of the, of the Christians, in, in all of the crusades, and all of the years of, of, of inquisitions, and all of the and, uh, exiles, and, and de deport okay. deportations, and after it, as a dessert, the Holocaust, we're in shock. No one can understand what happened to us, and no one can say, no, I know. No one. It's because of this reason, because of that reason, it's a punishment, it's astarat panim, asture, shebetoch asture. Forget it. I think I heard that Rabbi Milubavich said that, but I'm not sure, that even if they, but one of the tzaddikim said it, that even if they would give the devil, the satan himself, the permission to do whatever he wants to do, he wouldn't come up with that plan of the Holocaust. He himself was in shock. The devil, the Malach Mavet, the angel of death, he saw what happened in the camps. He was terrified. He couldn't function. He himself fainted. You know what happened over there? If you... <laughs> no one knows. No one can understand the pain. And we have it in t inside every cell of your body contained the sorrow of your ancestors. Every cell in your body made, like we said yesterday, made out of your parents. It's the DNA, it's inside. It's, it's, you've been programmed with the Holocaust inside of you. Genetic memory. Genetic memory. You have it. Nothing going to change it. And Egypt is inside of you. You know what happened in Egypt? They took the children and they threw them to the crocodiles in the Nile. And they were raping their wives. And, in, oh, and the, with the Greeks and the Romans. And, and, and in, Urka, in, 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 uh, in, uh, in all of the, all of the Galuyot. In, in Paras, during the, the generation days of Achashverosh. And on and on. All of the time being raped, being beaten. And, and we're saying... God loves us. Hashem Oevoti. Okay, what's going on? We cannot understand. It's a huge gap. What are you going to do? The faith is in the nights. You need to believe. You don't believe in what that you know. You know the truth that you suffer. You know that it's hard. You know that it's a process. You know that it's written that Hashem is good. Now you have a free choice if to believe or not to believe. You cannot believe that it's a mic. It's, you don't need to believe. You can say. You can know. To believe it, what's behind that wall. Where is Hashem? No one can put his finger. We know what's written in Likutei Mora. We can believe. We can believe. The faith is in something that you cannot grab, that you cannot hold. You know for sure that it's going to be good. Your heart is telling you from inside that we have a good future. Do you feel it? You feel the geula? You feel the redemption? You believe that Hashem now in the present? A lot of questions. Really to hold in faith, it's a mission. To be happy, 
It's the hardest thing in Avodat Hashem of them all. You think, oh, they're bums, they're uh, happy all day long. You don't know. To put a smile on a sad face, it's the hardest thing in the world. And the Rachmanim, the Gemara is saying, Chayem enam Chayim. You cannot call the life of a merciful person life. He sees the pain of his friend, he wants to die. He cannot stand the suffer of someone else. He cannot. He cannot see someone suffering and... I give that example. A doctor in the children uh, section, in the department, in the hospital. Can he go home? Can you go home? No, I'm home now. You can go home. There are still children in that department. Are you home? You're not home. If you're, if you're a human being and you visit once in the children department in, this, in, the, in the hospital, you cannot go home anymore. There is no home for you. There are children over there. For a righteous man, there is no life. Women have been raped now, in the present. Now, while we're talking, women have now been raped. Somewhere. Can you sleep? Can you eat? Can you drink? If you have a heart, you cannot do nothing. You're not alive. Because of... The truth is that we have to have faith. Faith is the only hope. Because if you're going to go with your mind, with your logic, down to all of the sorrow of this world, <laughs> you, can, you, you will die. You will crush under the, the weight of that burden of, of, of the exile. Who can stand? Why are you not judging someone that commits suicide in the Holocaust? <laughs> because you understand him. You say, okay, look, who can judge him? And someone that, that, that killed himself yesterday, jumped from the 30 floors uh, building, can you judge him? Do you know? Do you know? They buried Poskim, Rabbanim, buried Dudu Topaz, the, the, the comedian Dudu Topaz, in, inside the fence, Betocha Gader, he commits suicide in, in jail, in prison. Because they said that he went through a lot of suffering that we cannot tell uh, uh, what's the real verdict, the real judgment on him going to be if he's supposed to be someone that buried outside of the fence or inside. If you know the person suffered before killing himself, you cannot blame him on what that he done. This is the halakha. So they buried him inside because you cannot know, you can never tell if that suffering was enough or not enough to commit suicide. So it means that there is a place that it's okay, chas shalom, even for a person to take his life. Of course it's not allowed, but you can understand after the fact that it happened. Look, I don't want to be in his test. I don't want to be in his place. I, I can never understand what he went through to come to that place. Elvis Presley said that he would pay one million dollar if he would have that opportunity to be one day without that Name Elvis Presley, to be just a person. Without being Elvis Presley for one day in his life, he was ready to pay one million dollar for that. You know what it means to be a superstar? To, you, everyone wants to be a superstar, everyone wants to be famous. He wants to pay what killed Dudu Topaz. That he was the, the, the most famous person in, in Eretz Israel. He, everyone loved him, everyone admired him, everyone worshipped him. He was... Number one, he, he couldn't deal with it. You don't have the vessels of, of, of humility to know that you're zero, that everything that you have is only free gift. Elvis Presley, it's the best example. He's got hit bode duyot. He's writing right, right, you're right. People, Robin Williams, people that, that could feel that they don't have nothing in their, in their world and they had everything and, and, and their conversation is with Hashem. Elvis Presley got it, but do you talking to the Lord, talking to Hashem, talking to the Creator. Give me the right advice that I'm going to know what to do with my life. Yes, I saw it. He's got letters of, of it, but do you can send you the link. <laughs> Yeah, don't be afraid to admit. There is a creator to all of the creations, to all of the nations. Can you define the difference between a Jew to, to a non-Jew? Do you know that you're better than the Goy? Do you know it for sure? In what? Tell me. Also, I'll show you some Goyim 
that you're going to be embarrassed. That you're going to be embarrassed. I'm going to show Schindler. Schindler. His name wasn't Nachman Schindler. <laughs> it wasn't no Nachman and not Nachum. And he was sinning a lot. And he had tava for women, lust for women. And he loved money. And he had tava at kavod. And he had anger. A lot of things you can say on him. But also he saved thousands of Jews. Can you talk about him? Do you know where he's holding? And they tell you that he gonna have, and it's true, that's the Torah, that he gonna be in the lowest level of heaven of all seven kinds of heaven that there is. He gonna be in the lowest one. Means that the lowest Jew of them all, you're gonna see a lowest Jew of them all, you, you will kill him with your bare hands. You hate him. He's going to be higher than that guy Schindler. And he will. So how can you understand it? You cannot. So stop questioning. Understand that you cannot understand nothing. And don't compare to yourself that you can. And don't plan your life according to your understanding. Understandings all of the time. No, I need to buy a house. No, I need to do this. I need to... Just pray. David HaMelech, he knew all of the Torah. He knew all of the halachot. He knew everything. And he kept on saying all of his life, Guide me in your truth. Teach me your rules. Because he knew that that I'm like animals. I'm an animal. I don't know nothing. Hashem is greater than us. Hashem is somewhere else. Hashem is something different. You need to throw your mind and just to pray. Just to pray all, all day long. All day long. Hashem, teach me who am I? What should I do? How should I behave? What should I dress? What should I eat? How I should eat? What should I do? The only connection that you have to Hashem Barach is through the tefillot, through the prayers. It's the only way to connect yourself to Hashem Barach. From the Torah, I'm sorry to tell you, you cannot learn all of those lessons, all of those huge understandings. We don't have the purity to see. It's all written in the Torah. But we don't have the ability to see it. But when you do it by the truth and you talk to Hashem, Hashem is opening your eyes. He's just removing the masks. He's just taking away. Hashem plastered the eyes of people from see, from seeing. People cannot see. He made you blind. All of Israel are in the Bechazkat Sumim. They're blind until comes a Kadosh Baruch Hu and open the eyes. So you're blind. You cannot see. You see a person, you say, hey, man, it's him. It's not him. You look at yourself and you think that you recognize yourself and you don't know who you are. You look at the mirror and you don't know who you are. That is not you. That is not you. When that's going to die, you're going to go somewhere else. When we're going to come and visit you after 120 years, we're not going to visit you. You're going to be in heaven with the righteous people. We're going to visit ourselves, we're going to meet, we're going to talk, we're going to chat, we're going to... Tzadikim, have the permission to come back in the Yotzeit, if the person got some reason to come back to his grave, so he's, come, he, you, he's not there, forget, he don't have nothing to do. Why it's contaminated? Why that place is contaminated? Because the soul went. Everything is contaminated. This is the contamination. That is your body. It's a contaminated body. It's not me. So who am I? Good question. Go ask. Who are you going to ask? The one that created you. I cannot answer you. I barely can find myself. Fighting on that. I'm fighting on that. To know who I am. When my children are saying, I love that candy, I love that khatif, I don't know what, all of those names, Bamba, Bisli, Doritos... I, I'm, I'm, I'm fixing them all of the time. Tell you, I, I love Doritos. I lo you don't love it. You don't have no connection to it. 
You don't love Bisley. You don't love Bamba. You don't because love is not connected to all of what that we're talking about now. It's different. You know what is love? See from from Hebrew. You have Aleph and He, and Bet and He. Ahava. Aleph and Bet. It's a certain seder. It's a certain flow. You, after Bet, you have Gimel. Aleph. Bet. Now comes Gimel. After it comes Dalet. Hey. Okay. So this is Ava. What's Ava? Hey. What's that? Hey. Hey, it's the glue, it's a spirituality that glued between two things. Between Aleph and Bet, there is Hey. Hey, it's the name of Hashem. It's Havaya Baruch Hu. It's Hashem. This is love. Ava, it's the glue that between every two things, between Aleph to Bet, between Bet to Gimel, between Gimel to Dalet, you have Ava. What is love? It's Hashem between everything. Hashem separates between everything, means Hashem joins everything. And if you're going to see, also in the vowels you can learn. Because the Aleph have Patach, and the He got Kamatz. No, yeah. yes, Kamatz, Kamatz. And the, the He got Kamatz, and the Vet got Patach. Patach with two dots. It's Chataf Patach. So it means, like we said, after Aleph you have Bet. After Bet you have Gimel. The Gimel and Dalet are, are missing. You cannot find them. Also the next Hayes are missing also. But you can see from, from, from the order of the beginning what's going to be next. So Aleph is in Patach and Bet is Chataf Patach. It's weaker. You hear it less. So it means that the physicality, the Aleph and then the Bet, is weaker. In Gimel, you are not going to hear the Gimel at all. It's going to be quiet. The Dalet, you never heard about it at all. But between the Hey to the next one, the first Hey that you have is getting stronger. It's already in Kamatz, if I'm not wrong, but it's it, on this, the spirituality is just growing and the physicality is just going lower. It's being purified, the hay is being purified and climbing and growing and the, the letters of the physicality is just going lower and lower and lower. This is Ahava. So the end of the Ahava is that it all becomes to be spirituality. That the physicality is cancelling. If you really want to come to Avat Hashem, first of all, you need to separate all of your attachments to all of the physical things. You need to care less about food, to care less about your tavot, your needs, about money. So, how you come to all of those things? With tshuva, with prayers, with requests. You ask and you ask and you ask and you ask and you ask. And then you grow and you develop. You found the word Ahava? Yeah, page six. You know what they're saying? It's, I don't know what you call the, the Aleph with the Pata. Yes, and you Bet. Have a with a Pata and two dots. Okay. And then you have a Bet with the Comments. Bet? Yeah. Bet is Comments. Okay. Okay, so you can explain. Okay. So um, you can explain it mm, different. Okay, so what that I said is wrong. You can explain. Okay, wonderful. So the the pata, so the physicality. Okay, now I remember what that I what, what I was thinking before. I remember it. So <coughs> it means that the physicality is getting stronger because patach is weaker than kamatz, and the aleph is in patach. And the next one is bet is getting stronger, and the first hey is patach chataf patach. So it's the the most gentle one that you have. It's almost kilo. It's you almost don't hear it. It's you don't say ahava. It's it's ahava. The hey you almost cannot hear it. And the next hey is nothing. The glue is it. is it's is it's, it's 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 become to be more gentle and more gentle and more gentle. So. You need to choose one of them, to who you connect yourself. If you connect yourself to the Aleph bit, to the physicality, it's, it becomes to be heavier and heavier and stronger and thicker. 
And if you go with a, with Hashem, so it becomes to be lighter and more spiritual and, and illuminating and, and, and brighter. The opportunity that a human being have in this world, we cannot imagine. What that is open in front of our eyes, our opportunity, is you cannot describe it. Only Hashem can show you what you can achieve. It depends in your commitment to the truth. How much you're going to work on that, you see that you're low, accept it with love. Say, Hashem, I'm sorry, I want to be better, make me better, help me, heal me. I'm sick, I'm crazy, I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm depressed. Heal me, it's in your hands. Connect yourself to Hashem Yidvarach again, and again, and again, and again. What that you can achieve, no one can, no one can share with you. Because you're going to find it from inside. Suddenly you're going to have Hashem in your life. And when you have Hashem, you have confidence, you have simcha, you have love, you have everything that you need. You know what to sing now, right? Where is the love? No. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love, love. love is all you need. Love is all you need. <laughs>